I'm presenting our phase two data with the uh, Vosoroxin in combination with decidabine in elderly untreated AML and MDS patients. Uh, this is a study we've been doing now for about two years. We have 62 patients and we've seen very high response rates and good tolerability with the combination. And uh, we're excited to present our results here. Okay, and just as a bit of background, could you maybe give us some description of the overlap between MDS and ALL? Sure, so a MDS and AML are um, basically very similar diseases um, and the difference is the aggressiveness of AML as compared to MDS. So the way we usually do it in the WHO has differentiated these diseases is people who have less than 20% blast, which are the abnormal cells in the bone marrow, are considered MDS or myelodysplastic syndrome. Whereas those who have more than 20% blast in the bone marrow are considered as AML or acute myeloid leukemia. So it really is a similar disease process, um, but just when it becomes more aggressive, we say it's gone from MDS to AML. Okay. And the treatment that is in question here, can you tell us more about that? Sure. So the treatment is a combination of two drugs. The decidabine is a standard agent that has been used for both MDS and AML now for more than 10 years. Uh, it actually is approved um, in Europe for treatment of AML and it is on the NCCN guidelines in the United States for AML and is used very frequently in patients who are considered to be not fit for chemotherapy or high dose chemotherapy, which is a large population in the age group above 60 or 65. Um, so the cytobine alone has a response rate of 20 to 25 percent uh, and the responses uh, usually are uh, short-lived and uh, the overall survival in two phase three studies in patients who were older unfit for AML treated with decidabine was about eight months. So our idea was to build on the single agent decidabine experience and see if adding another active agent, Vosoroxin, which had shown activity in uh, elderly AML in the first salvage, could improve both the response rate, the durability of the response, and ultimately overall survival. And uh, we did see improvements in all these parameters uh, in this group of patients uh, in our phase two study. Uh, can you tell us the patient cohort, how they were selected? Yep, so the, these were all patients who were uh, above 60 years of age and they had to be considered unfit for standard induction chemotherapy, which is high dose chemotherapy. And the unfit was usually decided by the treating physician um, and as a lot of data has shown, the treating physician is the best person to make that judgment. Uh, so they were usually people above 65 or 70, or they had a poor performance status, or they had a high white counter presentation, or they had adverse cytogenetics. Uh, so these were usually the criteria that were helped to determine the unfitness. Um, and there was no upper age limit. Uh, the patients uh, could have any form of AML or high-risk MDS. Um, so these are the people who are eligible. Can you give us some more detail on these results? Any percentages, numbers? Sure. So of the 62 patients we've treated, the remission rate or the response rate was 75%, which is very favorable compared to the response rate of 20 to 30% that you get with single agent decidabine. So double or even maybe three times higher. Uh, we also saw very good tolerability. The early mortality or the number of people dying within 60 days uh, was 10% or less, uh, especially at the selected dose of 70 per meter square of osroxin. Uh, this compares actually very equivalent uh, to decide to be single agent. And uh, now we have some more mature data looking at survival and the median survival we're getting with the chosen combination of Vosoroxin 70 per meter square and decidabine is about 18, 17, 18 months, which is uh, much better than the eight to 11 or 12 months that we get with single agent decidabine in a similar matched population, both at our institution and uh, at other institutions in the Europe and US. So um, we're very excited and I think the next step will be to compare the decidabine Vosoroxin to other standard frontline AML treatments such as decidabine or high dose chemotherapy in a randomized fashion and see if these results continue to hold up. Okay. And you mentioned some of the next step. Are there any ongoing trials that are in recruitment phase or that might be reporting details soon? So there are um, two studies. One is the German group where they have the combination of uh, similar drug Vosoroxin with another agent called azacitidine which is the cousin of decidabine, very similar response rates and activity. And that study is going to be for high-risk uh, patients. And, and I think it is 
uh, either opening or should be opening soon. And the British group is planning to do a very similar study in the frontline elderly AML patients, randomizing them to the co our combination of Osrox and Decidabine uh, versus uh, the standard therapy with uh, 3 plus 7 induction. So both of those studies are not are either just started or will be recruiting and hopefully by uh, next year's conference we may have some early data.